stickers. No. No, it might be mine from yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Welcome to the broadcast, everybody. If you're just tuning in, we're just about to get going here. We've got about five minutes, ten minutes till start time. Yeah, gorgeous day here at Softball City. Probably the best day so far for weather. We also have likely our best camera view, so hopefully it doesn't get disturbed. Yeah, can you check it on your phone? Sure, Ray. We are in the booth right now, but we'll be heading outside just to pick up some of the ambient sounds with our microphones, as well as broadcasting from outside the booth. Yeah, look at that. That's looking fantastic. Sounds like you can hear us, too. Broadcasting from outside the booth. Great. We're just doing a little sound and uh, video check. Check, check. Got about eight minutes till start time. So what do we want to talk about? We've got um, uh, Ridge Meadows Pride 09 going up against Fusion McDonald 09A, um, a team that we're used to seeing in the regular season quite a bit and often at tournaments around the lower mainland and even in the States. Yeah, I think this will be a team you'll have to get used to seeing. I said a lot of Fusion. I believe they're also 3-0 at this icebreaker. They are. Fusion coming off three pretty decisive wins, um, and uh, the Pride also with their wins uh, against their opponents. So the ice shall be broken on one of these teams' first loss. Yep. A tie is possible, but uh, otherwise, hopefully... Yeah, there was a game yesterday, I think, that ended in a tie. tie. Okay. Actually, I think it was Fusion-Appleton, and they tied the 2010 Fury 4-4. Interesting. That was the 8 p.m. game last night. Interesting. Yeah, for those who followed us last season might not be aware, our girls, for the most part, will be the older team this year. A little different than last year, although they did quite well against 08s. And we actually have three of our girls are 2010s. So so it is an 09-2010 mix, but we are officially on the books as an 09 team. I don't think you can call yourself 2010 if you have... Oh, nines on your team. No, you can't. Yeah. Which makes sense. Looks like Julia Waterman is wa- uh, also warming up. We had suspected that um, they were going to keep all three pitchers ready to go. Uh, Naya Kalaminas will be uh, pitching for the Pride uh, to start us off. Yeah. We saw Kira warming up as well. Again, Julia off in the distance. Might have missed her warming up earlier, but uh, she's... Down the right field line in the corner, warm me up as well. So we'll see how they handle the pitching today. Each pitcher has had one full game. Um, just an assumption, we assume we might see more than one, but I'm sure that'll be dependent on how the game goes. In icebreaker tournaments, there are no medals. There's no playoff rounds. There's no playoff brackets. It's just what it sounds like, an icebreaker just to get the season going. So it's a bit of a friendly and uh, each team that enters the tournament or is in the tournament just is guaranteed four games, and it's only four games. That's right. This year, luck, fortunately, no snow in the middle of the day, no uh, game delays, weather is held up really well, a little bit of rain overnight on the Friday night, but uh, we haven't had any games interrupted. Been a good start. April is always unpredictable for weather, as we saw last year. To recap the last three games on Friday night, uh, Friday morning, sorry, uh, the Pride took on the Tri-City Titans 9 a team. Uh, decisive 6 nothing victory there. That was Naya Kalaminas on the mound for that game. And then on Saturday afternoon, their first game was against the uh, OGs, who was it? White Rock Renegades? Correct. Oh, and nine. that was a one nothing uh, tight victory, but the girls played really well. And then they really kind of showed their stuff and how things were coming together with their fielding, infielding, outfielding, hitting, small ball, getting the bunts down. Yeah, the small ball made a big difference in the second game against Fusion Appleton, the other Fusion 09 team in our age group. Um, that really was it. This The small ball got us the runs we needed, and uh, they walked away with a pretty decisive victory in a game that was close up until just a little bit, a few mistakes 
and did a good job. The other thing our team did was when there was a runner that got aboard or in scoring position, uh, we kind of stopped the bleeding right there. They maybe got one run in those two games or the first, the, the last game there. But uh, other than that, we stopped it. So I, I think just to be able to collect a regroup, our girls are showing good resiliency this year, not letting things um, snowball in an inning, which is important. Lots of ball to play this season. Um, looking at our schedule and tournaments included, roughly estimate that the girls will be playing 90 to 100 games before the end of the summer. So, so essentially, you can just leave YouTube on after this game, and <laughs> we should be we should be there. Casting 24 right. seven. Hit. So it was a little loosey goosey with our broadcast yesterday, but we were kind of around quite a number of parents and friends and family, and it was it was quite uh, noisy. Um, real, I call it real, real, it real, real life TV. Um, so we will be sort of a little bit maybe separated from some of the noise and chatter in the background, but we will be going outside just shortly to pick up uh, the sounds of the game and also uh, isolate ourselves a little bit from. You can probably expect the uh, morning parent crowd to be a little quieter than the the caesar crowd the saturday the saturday caesar crowd yeah happy hour crowd yeah. Yeah. we were just drinking diet cokes but yeah, yeah. but you know we're professionals 100 percent. coach jimmy in his white hoodie all the coaches in their white hoodies today coach kelly coach kelsey coach callie coach jimmy <laughs> coach katie and uh gary waterman we also got it's Coach Callie there with the bunny ears on. Happy Easter to everybody. Yeah. Hopefully you had something in your stocking that was special. Did we do stockings at Easter? I don't know. Don't you? I haven't. I haven't. No. Right. I think it's a tradition. Yeah. Anyway, lo lots of bunny ears out this morning, which just tells you kind of the mood of an icebreaker, right? Have a little fun. Oh, as, as I say that, Coach Kelly's taking them off. Fun has ended. Yeah. Oh, they're back on. Have a little fun, but as we know, it gets serious pretty quickly, and the girls want to win. Yes. Which you can't blame them. Like I said earlier in the weekend, uh, the girls hold themselves to a pretty high standard, right? They want to do well more than anybody else wants them to. So having all your support at home, and whether you're here, however you support us, we thank you, and the girls appreciate it. We got a happy Easter from Garrett McDonald. Garrett McDonald. He's got good Wi-Fi. Just coming up uh, the uh, northern tip of California uh, in his kayak. So uh, I know he's got like a, a cell phone tower attached to that back of that. He switched from the canoe to the kayak overnight? Yeah, he did. Well, he, the canoe was on his back. So it was, I think he let it go. Uh, Guys, Bo Barlow's be... okay in the front of the kayak. Oh, Garrett gives another. He's actually in the Panama Canal right now. Oh, Panama. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm... Business trip. I'm not sure why. He said something was a business trip. Yeah, business trip. <laughs> I think this is the uh, same ump that we had last night uh, for our second game. And if so, it might be a little tough getting the calls on the corners. It's going to. I guess we'll migrate to the outside now for the beginning of the game. Yeah, we're going to take you with us as we leave the booth and head upstairs. Okay, we're outside. Thanks, Ray. All right. Helping paint the picture. Head to our outdoor gondola perch. This is a good ang angle right here, I think, Adam. Ball field. Tiffany Fowles. Wow. We might have to hire her. The, uh, Do we have that in the budget for a voice? parent of uh, Ryan Fowles. For a promo person? Still got a green light? Yeah. yeah. That's good. We are the visitors, so we will be hitting first. Pride 09 up to bat as Fusion McDonald takes the field. Jada Mannion's going to be leading things off. Aiden McDonald on deck. On the mound for Fusion, Bella Tyson, former teammate of the 09 Pride, left a year and a half ago to pursue 
a spot, a pitching spot on the Fusion roster. We got a couple former teammates on this team, eh? Yeah. Three former teammates of our girls are on the Fusion McDonald team. Angie Lopez-Lee, Bella uh, Tyson, and uh, Carly Buconic. Well, good news is we have the mics on in time. Everything's working properly. Great camera view. This is how you finish off an icebreaker. I think so. I think we're getting this dialed in slowly. Yeah. You know what? The girls were ready coming, firing out of the gates. We were not. Fair enough, yeah. But I blame technology, not us. For all those watching at home, if you do experience video issues like blurriness, if you've got a family member you can text, like a parent that's here at the game, we would appreciate knowing about it as soon as possible so we can fix the situation. Yeah, they will flag us down pretty quickly. Throw things at us, whatever it takes to get the camera back up for you. Roughly 700 people in attendance for this game. 750. I think we're at capacity. We're at capacity. Yeah. Jada Mannion leads us off. In the dirt for ball one. High for ball two. Jada coming off three stolen bases in the second game last night. Not surprising with her wheels. Tuno. Swing and a late, late swing and a miss. Strike one on Mannion. Jada playing right field today? Yes, I think she'll be starting there. Oh. A number to the second baseman and on to first for the out. Off the end of the bat. A little out in front on that swing. Yeah, we've had quite a few of those. Just little, we'll call it a number. Number? Yeah. Nubbins. 20, Aiden McDonald. Steps into the batter's box. Face her former teammate. Outside for a ball. Friends off in a situation like this. Friends right? off. Friends off, yeah. Game on, friends off. Pride girls on the cheering this morning, too. And yeah, they're pretty a point early. High for ball two. The great thing is, though, after the game's over, the girls hit the bar. Yeah. Get a couple of margaritas in them. And yeah. They all, they're all friends again. That's right. High for ball three. Three and oh on Aiden Elf. Working hard in the offseason with Kim Brooks at Complete Diamond for her hitting. Also stopped smoking cigars this year. Oh, that's so great. So that's really helped her cardio out. Congratulations, yeah. Good job, Aiden. Down the middle. She was taking all the way on that one. Strike one. Number of our girls taking hitting instruction uh, from Kim Brooks at Complete Diamond. Aiden McDonald takes ball four and heads down to first base on a high pitch. Got one out. Kira McIntyre. She's making some contact again. Thrown down to, oh, thrown oh, away. Let's stay, let's stay. Yeah. A miscue by the shortstop and second baseman on who was taking the throw from the pitcher. It was a slow roller back to the pitcher. Nobody there to cover second. Brings up Maya Kalamina swearing number 15. Interesting. Oh, I think that's because the red shirts, they didn't have yeah. number 13 for her. So, so uh, a number change for Nia Kalaminas. Her jersey says 15. Typically, she's 1-3. She almost met that strike. Oh, 
controller. If you got three, you got three. I like being higher. Sorry. Low for a ball. Runners on first and second. Again, uh, for our viewers at home, if you experience any audio or video uh, breaks, please let us know by texting a family member that's maybe here at the game. It'll help us out. You can all text at the exact same time. Very all letters. That usually gets our attention. Hi, Calum. Hi for a ball. Tight, tight strike zone today, looks like, by the umpire. Yeah, a little input from Coach Gary. He, he found that it sounds like the um, drop ball. Right. And another. Numbers. On to first for the second out of the inning, but advancing to third is Aiden oh, McDonald, oh, oh, oh. and to second is. The audio is sporadic. Sporadic? Crackly. Sorry about that. Could be the, the it could be the wind or it could be a. Uh, well, we're gonna move after the first inning see if it helps. In the dirt for ball one. Yeah, we're getting a couple texts in saying we're a little cracky. You want to move? We're gonna move for you and see if that helps. In there for a strike, one and one. Should we try front row? Yeah. Or right here, just right here. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Uh, we moved a little closer. We're hoping this helps. High for ball. Two balls, one strike on Ella Graham, number twenty-two, our catcher for today. Runners on second and third, scoring position. Oh, that's and go. go. Right go. to the shortstop and on the first for the out. No runs in. Seems so, like a few of our hits were just off the end of the bat. Yeah. We're to get the full bat on the ball. I'm sure that'll come, right? But I always want to cash in when you get a couple runners on there in the first inning and start the game off right, but that's okay. Uh, and if you could provide us with an update on the audio, if you think that this has solved the issue by getting a little closer to our video source, then let us know. Just whoever think you were texting before, text them again. They texted me. Oh, did they? I got Okay. So, uh, Garrett, we got a sounds better, so that's good. Okay. So, yeah, we're just going to stay a little closer. This might be the reception here. Mm -hmm. Could be objects blocking. Yeah. Like if there isn't, we're, our camera's right in front of a uh, broadcast booth that could block the signal. So we wanted to get you the best possible view. So we might have sacrificed uh, how far we're allowed to travel with the mics, but we don't mind standing a little closer. The fans might get annoyed, but that's okay. Uh, the video should be pretty awesome. We, I think we avoided any chain link fence today. It was a miracle. Just run through the uh, infield and outfield lineup on the mound. Nia Kalaminas. Uh, behind the plate, Bella Graham at third base, Samara Hunter. Shortstop, number two, Holly Ross. Second base, Sarah McDonald. In left field, number 27, Ryan Fowles. In center field, number 16, McKenna Cocker. And in right field, number eight, Jada Mannion. So we over here, come on. Yeah. We saw them. Do you want to go? I don't like standing by the pitcher. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we saw them mixing things up a little bit yesterday, late in the game, <clears throat> moving some players around on the infield. Uh, we're starting this game off with more familiar positions that we're used to seeing these girls in. Yeah. Even though we, we have a lot of girls who can play multiple positions. Yeah. Leading off for a fusion, Carly Buconic. All right, Calaminas on the mound. So we got Ready a lefty. Chuck. Is this one that we expect slap? Do we know if she's, she's not, not, uh, not a slap. Oh, the other left girl? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Not sure. 
fouled off just to the right and behind us. I know my daughter McKenna, who's a righty, uh, like this girl, did try to work in hitting from the left to see if she could slot down the third baseline, which you'll often see for lefties, but. Right down the middle for a strike. It's challenging to to change that. Yeah. Two strikes quickly on Buconic. Swing and a miss. Well, Buconic goes down swinging, and that's the first strikeout and the first out. Number 14 strikeout the, this weekend for Naya so far. Starting off exactly where she left the last game. Lefty looking for either a drag bunt or a slap hit, probably. We shall see. It's off. Naya Kalaminas prepares to wind up. Squares off the bunt and loses control of the ball. I think she lost her grip on that. Went yeah. in the dirt. It's a little chilly out here, so I'd expect. Yeah, I, some of the girls, you can see the breath. So. Not exactly warm, but the sun is shining. Yeah, they are not smoking out there in the outfield. Nobody, not this year. Not allowed. Squares off the bunt again. And, Ball two. Two balls, no strikes. Squares off the bunt again. In there for a strike. Two and one. We've been told the audio has improved. So Excellent. Hopefully that's still the case. Swing and a miss off the netting behind home plate. That brings the count even to two balls, two strikes. Was that a miss? Swing and a miss? It, foul ball. Foul ball. Did I say miss? Yeah, Swing you said miss. miss but... Adam Cocker is going to hold me accountable for hey, every miss. I gave you three games. Oh, caught looking. We Beautiful got... pitch. Handcuffed the batter. We got Naya dialed in. I need to get you dialed in, right? That's right. As we approach the end of these icebreakers, we want to be hitting our stride. Two way. I want to leave you in tip-top shape you for Garrett when she gets back when he gets back she <laughs> okay you let the cat out of the bag Garrett's away for an operation oh boy you coming, coming back, back is Gertrude, Gertrude. <laughs> that's a name that's got to come back he keeps the beard though yeah do you think he shaved Ray Ray has shaved maybe his back that's up right. high for a ball one and one Naya continues to deal here this weekend, looking great to start this game. I did shave off the mustache, yeah. yeah. No, we're, we're done talking about your mustache, right? Eh? Well, no, lack of mustache. Are you going with the goatee now? No, that's oh, okay. just uh, laziness. Just lazy, okay. In, In there for first. Oh, she called a ball. ball. It's a very loud ball. Yeah, that. Two balls, one strike. Yeah. Alicia Edwards up, number 17 for a fusion. Another lefty. There Swing it is. And a miss. Makes the count even two and two. Two away. Here in the bottom of the first. Up high for a ball. Full count. Full count, two outs. Oh. Swing and a miss for the third out. Three up, three down. Was that three strikeouts? Three strikeouts. Three yes. strikeouts for Nari to start the game. Yep. Make sure we don't say anything else. Remember? No. We got our lesson that we learned. 
Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah gotcha. Never, Never mind, mind, folks. No, just... Never mind. Just stuff. Yeah, just stuff. Talking about stuff. Working through it. Who do you got leading us off here, right? Eh? Oh, looks, looks like 33. Like Mighty Mouse, Sarah McDonald. Followed me by number two, Holly Ross, and number 28, Julia Waterman, or at least it looks like to be that order. We'll find out. Gary Waterman. Fusion, take the field. Coach Gary Waterman. Stand in front of us. Do you want to go and chat with him? No, let's go chat. He looks like he's ready to chat. Gary's a look Coach very Gary? approachable. So what do you think of that first inning? We put traffic on, which is good. That's what we need to do. Uh, yeah, we just we need what ball to get through here at some point. And we're away to the race. Yeah, a couple of hits off the end of the bat, it looked like. Oh, the yeah. girls just out in front, you think? Uh, yeah, a little bit of nerves want to be swinging, right? Big game on a Sunday morning. Sunday mornings always feel different than every other day. Yep. Uh, yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We got a team that can hit. Uh, we got a kid that can chuck on the mound. Thanks, Coach. That was a good little interview. That's the kind of quality content you're going to get here on these broadcasts. He said we're just going to, you know, play the puck one, you know, one one in, one pit, one period at a time, and you know, try to get the puck in their end. Backs, just put the puck in the back of the net. Backs against the walls. Yeah. Uh, One hundred and ten percent. We're going to use uh, nicknames, hockey nicknames for all the girls. Here's Maxie or Mackie. Sarah McDonald. In there for a ball. She's got an aggressive ball. Yeah. Uh, shout out to the she umpire. Sarah Mack looking to uh, get her first hit of the tournament. She had a beautiful double the other night in our home opener. Yes. Sarah Mack, another one that's been at Complete Diamond, correct? Complete Diamond yeah. with Kim Brooks, another uh, pride hitter. Brooksy? Right, Brooksy. Yeah, Kim Brooksy. Uh, yeah. Is that a uh, ball or a strike? Right? That Sorry. was a strike. One on one. one. Trying to chat. Kim Brooks is. Uh, oh, beautiful that's hit. Down the line. That's fair. And it's in the. Oh, she's going to the bench. She's going to three. She's calling her to three. And she's going to get there easily. Beautiful stand up triple by Sarah McDonald. Raza, that's how you start an inning. Pulled down the right field line. And I think it went all the way to the fence. We couldn't see from here. Yeah, you I guys got... probably have a better view with that amazing camera work that we've uh, established up on high on the fence. Ray's as proud of his camera work as he is, as Sarah was of that triple. Yeah. Great start to the inning. Number two, Holly Ross takes to the batter's box to see if she can cash in the run. Yeah, let's... Oh, on the outside corner for a strike. Seemed a little low and a little outside. So again, that was that feedback we got from Gary from the last night's game, right? The drop ball seems to uh, like those ones. Yeah. So we'll see if both pitchers and uh, coaches pick up on that. Squares off the bunt and pulls back for the ball. Coach uh, Waterman looks like he had a little smile for Holly. She may have maybe misread the signal. Yeah, that might have been what happened. Swing and a miss for Holly Ross. I think so. I think it's yeah. one ball, two yeah, strikes. Okay. I think I accidentally scored that first one as a ball. No, High for a ball. Definitely likes the low ones. Definitely likes the lower ones. And that was looked a little outside too. Runner on third. No outs. Outside, outside for a ball. We got a full count. Full count on Holly Ross looking to cash in Sarah Mack at third base. Yeah. All four. Holly takes first. And that brings up Julia Waterman, number twenty eight. Coach's kid. Runners on the corners. Holly Ross is also the coach's kid. She's our our head coach is Katie Ross. Well, when you have 15 coaches, the odds are yeah. greater Some that are. yeah, it'd be related. Holly Ross should be going on the first pitch, which she is. Waterman swings and misses for the first strike. 
two runners in scoring position in second and third. A single, a solid single, probably brings in two runs with their speed. Yeah, anything here. Uh, bounce the off bunt, the ground. Bounce off the ground. And that's fouled. Two strikes quickly on Waterman. So, no pressure, but this is... You got runners, two runners in scoring position, no outs. Um, whether it's Julia or any of our batters coming up, we want to cash in here, obviously. Nice and hit. hit sharply to the oh, second base one. Off the glove. And both runs look like they're going to score. Oh, no, no Holly Ross is being yeah. held up at third. Probably a smart move. The uh, Miss Q at second. But that was ball that's hit. That hard was hard. To, uh, Carly Buconic. Yeah. Just off of her forearm. Tough play, but that's Both what happens. Off the glove and off the forearm. Right. Hit the ball hard, put it in play. None of these numbers. Yep. Runners on the corners. Waterman should be going to second on this first pitch. Waterman takes off. Ryan, Ryan Fowler's Fowler's up nice the middle. Hit. Safe at Fowler's second. Safe. And another run scores. And the hit and run was on, which is the only reason she was safe at second is she was going anyway. Yeah, and I'm not sure if the second base tried to exchange that to the shortstop there instead yeah, of just probably going just straight for the base, off. I think. Maybe yeah. the exchange there, I think, helped. Fowles with the uh, fielder's choice hit there. Chops it up the middle over the pitcher's head. That brings up Janelle Cooper, number three in this oh, game. Yeah, we got all kinds of numbers. Oh, she attempts the bunt to advance the runners. Runners on first and second. No outs here. Pride looking to cash in. JC, J. Cooper. Should we have had a slide into second there? Uh, it was force out, I guess. Yeah. Pulls back for a ball. We said a little feedback in the chat. Asking for about sliding. Well, no, what are they asking? Oh, we asked. I want to them. work on it, yeah. yeah. What are we going to do? You get input from Garrett on that? How'd you know? Yeah. We did have a. It's outside. Another ball. As Janelle squares up, but then pulls her bat out of the strike zone. We did have some extensive sliding practice the uh, Tuesday night during the, the rain. mudstorm. Yes. There's now eight foot potholes in that field. Squares up to bunt again. I think they've been repaired. Fouled off again by Janelle Cooper. Two strikes on Janelle. But it's a good point. All those little things that they work on and um, continually work on are going to be important as the season goes on. Don't be surprised. You typically you wouldn't square up to bunt on a third strike or when you've got two strikes. You think she's going to? I think she's going to. Yeah. Nope. You were completely wrong. wrong there, right? Yeah. That's okay, though. I like the... Like, you know what? You got to put it out there. That, that was inside information I had from a conversation the other night. Oh, really? So, yeah. Ray spilling the... Spilling the tea. Janelle Cooper hanging in. In the dirt for a full count. Three balls, two strikes. Runners on first and second. Two runs in so far in this half inning. They're definitely making this pitcher work early, which is always good. Oh, we got a and a ball, and that looks the basis for Amara Hunter. This is your daughter, number twelve. She's been Up making some back. solid contact this weekend too. She has. The bases are juiced, just like our girls. Yeah. That was a joke. Oh, yeah. yeah well, the girls works. tend to cycle on and off the, the roids during the right. offseason, but, you know, there's no testing, so. Ooh. In there for a strike. Holds off for a high pitch. Ball one. Huntsy looking to cash in here. Her eyes big as saucers, but she's got him. Outside for a ball two. Two balls, one strike. 
Great job holding off on that one. Yep. Again, anything on the outside, even if it's close, uh, those calls aren't aren't going the strike way. That's another. That's another. Safe. And safe at home. Another off the end of the bat. Fielder's choice for Mara Hunter arrives safely at first. As the Fusion elect to go home to protect the plate. It's an aggressive play and it often pays off. Yeah. But the bases were loaded and it was just a force at home. Didn't help that ball. No was a number in that case. The never actually helped us. Not with, hit very hard. With the bases loaded, no uh, reason to tag it. It's a force. McKenna Cocker looks at strike one. Come on now. 16. With the bases still juiced and a 3 nothing lead. She's looking to get a little bit of wood on the ball. Oh. Fouled off just to the left on a low pitch. Come on, 16. Bella Tyson on the mound for Fusion. Deep breath, deep breath. Let's go. High for a ball. One ball, two strikes on McKenna. Oh, what a hit. Beautiful single. That's going to bring in one run. Ryan fouls. And a single brings in another run. Janelle Cooper heads to third base. Amara Hunter at second. The bases remain juiced. Yeah, you think on a hit like that, you expect oh, maybe a couple runners would get in. But when it's hit that hard, you got to be a little more conservative. We have no outs. The you're getting the runs in. What I'm not sure of right yeah. now is if there's a cap on runs. In Five. Life. Is there? Yeah. There's So just for those at home, um, not all games we play will be like this, but for icebreakers and some other tournaments we'll have, there is a max five-run inning, I believe, for this tournament. I don't, I don't subscribe to it. I don't like that. Yeah. I think we're at an age now, you know, if you can't stop the bleeding, you can't stop the bleeding. Yeah. I, yeah. And that goes for us, too. I mean, it, Either for way. any team. Yeah. I, I think it's just we're at that age. But maybe just in consideration of it being an icebreaker, like you said, maybe. maybe I that. think that's the thing, right? This is all about getting dialed in, getting things ready for the season. If, so. it, was, if it was 5 nothing for them, I would agree with the rule. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It's tough, though, when you see the girls starting to hit pretty well, getting yeah. momentum going, feeling good, and then the ending will end the next run that comes in here. Let's talk about McKenna Cocker for a second because uh, well, she's had a great – start to the season yeah She's hitting the ball hard yeah she, she had I, a double the other night wasn't it yeah that was on a double uh she was caught out over right field but uh yesterday not a lot went her way it was just one of those games we had the one nothing mm -hmm. game not right. anybody nothing really happened so you have those games where you kind of that's one thing about ball right you're gonna have these moments and you could have a little stretch where those moments don't happen for you so i think it's important mm -hmm. for mckenna and all the mm -hmm. girls to just be ready for the next one. That just shows you right there. Yep. You get to bat situation, bases loaded. You were down 0-2 in the count. Mm -hmm. And then to get a single like that. But it's yep. nice to see all of our girls who are putting in the work yep. with their hitting. Mm -hmm. I think we all know this year that is a focus. Mm -hmm. And it's good. Absolutely. Yes. Jada Mannion back up to bat. Kenna on first. Mara on second. Janelle on third. In the dirt for ball one. We had a pitching change there, Ray. We did have a pitching yeah. change. Bella Tyson comes out of the game. Um, new pitcher for Fusion. Ooh. Swing and a miss a little early. Yeah. On a, what looked like a change up. Let's go, Jada. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Again, speed's just a little bit different, eh? Yeah. Coming in. So, and yet, a little that, head on that one, too. Yeah. So, see if Jada can just hold just a little bit here and sit on this one. Well, swing and a miss. Strike three for Jada Mannion. 
brings up Aiden McDonald. We got ABC Environmental Solutions behind us. Sorry for the noise. Garbage pickup time. In there, low for a strike. Aiden McDonald looking to get on base and drive in, I think, the fifth run of the inning. Yeah. You know what? If you can only get five, might as well get all five. Yeah. In the dirt for ball one. One away. Aiden McDonald also been doing a good job up to bat. Had a great bunt in our yep. Friday game. Making some contact. Fouled off just to the right the into the netting. Ooh, good so effort. Just, just at the dugout entrance of the Fusion. Third baseman not able to get to it. That's London at third. Aiden McDonald, one of our lefties. Another complete diamond hitter. Swing it's and a miss. Tip. Foul tip. Good try, Aiden. Fuck out. Two away and brings up Kira McIntyre. Oh, holds off. Now. Go, go. Yeah, and that brings in the run. fifth run, Janelle Cooper. Oh, five. That Only was five. the sixth one. So five runs I'm not yeah. sure that counted. Amar, I just wanted to get yeah. get the slide in. Yeah. Taking some advice to get the slides going. So it was a high pitch, and the catcher decided to throw down to first to see if she could get the, the lead off. Yeah, this thing won't let me score it quite like it happened, but it will give us the run. And... We'll exit the inning. Kira will be up to bat to start the next inning. How do I force the inning over? I don't know how to force the inning over when we reach a max. Hmm. You're to empty the bases, don't you? No, but there's not three outs. Just go oh, another out. Yeah, change it. Oh, yeah, I guess. There we go. Oops. There we go. Top of three. Or no, we want bottom of three. Bottom of two. Bottom oh wait. Of, bottom of two. Sorry, you're right. Yeah. That's another thing with that five run max rule. The uh, scorekeeping app here that we're using to display on your thing doesn't quite account for that. It wants the three outs to happen. Right. So, hopefully that works. Feels like that inning was quite the stretch. Feels like we haven't seen Nye out here for a little while. Her first yeah. appearance in the first inning was rather quick with three straight strikeouts. See if she can keep that going. Fusion looking to see if they can get back on the board here or get on the board here. And uh, maybe Bella Tyson up to box looking for a little bit of redemption. For a shaky start. It's kind of what you want as a player, though, right? You have something like that going. She's a good pitcher. Obviously, yeah. sometimes just things don't go your way. She is a strong hitter, yeah, so she's come, looking to see what she can do here. Take some frustration out on that, that ball. Hi for a ball. My ball had enough movement on it that uh, it just bounced right out of Bella Graham's glove. At third base is number 28, Julia Waterman. That was for a ball. Amara Hunter. That was a ball? Yep. Okay. Ooh, inside. Inside for a ball. Two balls, no strikes. And John Powell's just letting us know. We know that uh, you at home, about a 15 second delay of where we're at live. So you'll be hearing this in 15 seconds from now. What was John asking? In there for a strike. Two balls, one strike. Any changes to the outfield that I can see? I think Janelle Cooper is in uh, uh, left, uh, field. left field. Got McKenna uh, Cocker. McKenna Cocker still in center. And is that Kira, Kira McIntyre in right field? Yeah, I believe so. 
high fly oh. ball up behind be third base. Into the sun. Nice grab. Oh, catch by oh, oh, Cooper. She went a little too far and had to reach behind her to pull that down, but that's an out in foul territory. Great catch. Not sure if you guys can catch, see that on the screen. We may have that area cut off by the camera. Yeah, just straight a little bit to foul territory, about six feet off the line there. It's bringing up Angie Lopez Lee, another heavy hitter Familiar for the face. Uh, Fusion. Still one of my oh, favorite. Look, look good. Still one of my favorite walk-up songs. Yeah. Yeah. One ball. In there for a strike. I would have had those two pitches reversed. Off that one. Strange, so right? But, yeah. uh, but hmm. One one. But one we got eight. to where we should be, I guess. Yeah, I think so. We're not the umpires. No. Oh, boy. We play one on TV. Two strikes. So we're going to miss for Angie Lopez Lee. Have one you ever umped, Ray? No. No. I Even mean, when I you're younger? No, I'm no. I, I'd be good at it, though. Popped up pop behind up. the plate. Interference. They're going to call. It's weird. Expect to see Gary. Here comes Gary Waterman. Yeah. He's going to want to have a talk with the umpire that the uh, hitter gonna, didn't get out of the way. Gary's going to argue interference here, and I don't think he's wrong. We got, oh, we got some chatter. Oh, some, this should be a preseason some, game. Some chirping from the uh, Fusion family and fans. But part of an icebreaker is for the umps to be learning, too. Yeah. Just going to leave the call the way it is. Gary says, thank you very much yep. for hearing me out. You know what, though? That's a, that's right to question. Yeah. Uh, that's what you, just clarification on it. Yeah. Um, umpire's call stands. Two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Everybody's learning. Two balls, two strikes? Yep. No, no, that One was a foul. Two One ball, yep. two strikes. Oh, just how long is that? A little too two long. Two. It's like a, just a high release. Yeah, that's all that was. Um, what looked like a changeup coming in. High fly ball to uh, the outfield. McKenna Cox oh. brings it down. Ranging right Excellent into catch. left field. Great catch by McKenna. Two away. Who was that? McKenna? Yep. That was solidly hit ball. Hopefully there was a, a, a loud enough call by McKenna to, to sort of... Yeah, again, something they're going to have to work out because that looked like a head-on collision. Avoid it. to happen. Two away. Right down the middle for a strike. Um, I think that ball movement kind of fooled the batter. Oh, yeah. She turned away from it, her head away from it. Yeah. Thinking it was coming inside. And it went and right back over the plate. Did Janelle take a dive on that one to get out of the way? Did she duck, um, and, I didn't, duck I didn't and cover? Know. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Strike two. We'll have to watch Foul the replay. Tip. To me, it looked, I have a pull kind of where that happened. but forgot to point out Aiden McDonald is now playing first base. Number 20. Correct. High and outside for a ball. Do you see a change up here? I think that was. Was that? Yeah. I don't know. She had some in the first game she pitched, which took yeah. about an hour to get in. Yeah. Really on that's a little higher right yeah. now, it seems. No, she's just going to blow Swing it. Swing and miss. Fouled it. off. Fine home plate. So not a miss. But a foul off. That's okay. Fouled off. 5 nothing lead for the Pride here in the bottom of the second. Two away. All five runs coming in the top of this inning. Called out looking for strike three. Again, for anybody just joining us, this uh, icebreaker tournament does have a five-run max per inning. So we got to all five despite a six-run getting in. And not having three outs. 
So hopefully the girls can carry that momentum from the second inning to the third and keep the bats going. Exactly. The one thing is there, uh, it doesn't matter. We won't go through all the rules of the tournament. If you notice, we don't typically mention the names of the girls from the other team. Um, it's not for any other reason other than we don't know them very well. We do know a few girls on the other teams. We don't get their lineup card with their names. So, no. Uh, might be something we want to do, but also maybe not. No, I'm not sure if all the teams would provide it to us, but... So it, it makes a big assumption that people want their names read out on the uh, yeah. on a YouTube stream, but again, I'm not sure we need to go there anyway. As the season goes on, if you tune in, you'll start to get a feel for some of these teams and their players. We'll see it. The tournaments occasionally, we don't run into teams at tournaments. Uh, this weekend we had no 2010 teams, but we will be playing 2010 teams this year. So there'll be some teams you didn't see last year. And again, the 08s have left us, right? Moved up in age group. Correct. We are the senior team this year. Senior age. 09s are the senior age in this uh, 15U bracket. Yeah, a few sports do that. I know hockey's one. You've got the two, two together. Uh, lacrosse might be another. So there, there's a few sports that have kind of a senior and a junior, if you want to call it that, or yeah. first and second years. Two age groups. Yeah, yeah two age uh, birth years. And at this stage for girls, I think within a year or so, our girls, it won't really make much of a difference. Most no. of them stop growing. And... Number 11, Kira McIntyre leads us off in the top of the third. Pride with a 5 nothing lead. Kira McIntyre had a couple pitches the last inning before her at bat got interrupted with the five run max. Starts with a fresh count. Swing and a miss. Big swing by Kira McIntyre. Ooh, low ball. You got a very, um, very forceful call. I think she calls the balls louder than the strikes. Yeah. I recognize that howl. You might be hearing a howling. I'm pretty sure that's a dog somewhere. Oh, oh, oh another, another. Is that a bunt? In there, in time, pitcher takes the ball and throws it on to first for the first out. I think it was a check swing by Kira. I don't think she meant to actually yeah. connect with it. Almost worked. Yeah. Accidentally on purpose. One away. Naya Kalaminas oh, no. up to bat. It's a small child with a horn, not a not a dog. <laughs> Fouled off into the netting behind home plate. Up high. Naya looking to pad her lead. Thank you. So we've got a food donation to Ray. Breakfast burrito, half eaten. What? What's the out of ten, Ray? What is it? After you're done chewing there. Not bad. Not bad. So we'll give that a six out of ten. Mm -hmm. Six and a half. And they do it for a ball. Telegram on deck. One and one count against Naya. Oh, that that's, gosh, that's right, right to right the, left, the left, fielder. left fielder. Great hit. hit. Ooh, right. Solid contact. That was, yeah. yeah. You know what? Feels like the bats are warming up here, right? Sun's out. Guns out. Sun's out. Guns out. Telegram number 22, the catcher. Heading into the batter's box for the second time today. Girls in their full red uniforms today. Those of you watching in black and white. <laughs> Strike one. Just on the outside for the fight for a ball. We don't have to guess on what the call is. The hump is no. very, yeah, demonstrative. No. It's easy to... And there isn't so much of a delay. No, no. Oh. 
Go for a ball. Two you balls, might, one strike. You might even be picking up the calls at home, so I don't even think we have to tell them. It's nice, though. It makes our job easy when the, the umps are very forceful in their calls. Swing and a miss. Big, big swing by Bella. Graham. Full count. We got two outs here, top of third. Oh, we go, 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 go. Oh, that nice. drop. Drop their strike rule. We'll mark that as an other, because there's no other choice. There. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know what you might have us on. You know what? I think maybe Sideline could add a few features in the scoring. Yeah, Sideline HD, if you're listening to any of these broadcasts, if you could upgrade some of the technology here. Or the uh, Mac up. user uh, interface, I, I guess it would be called. Blistering three base hit. And they're oh, safe. Easily safe, safe at second, second base is Bella Graham with her wheels on a steal. Sarah Mack had a triple loss at bat. Looking to continue that. Yeah, one of the trend. One of the bigger hits this weekend. For the lefty. Ooh. In there. For a strike. Oh and two. Uh, yeah. Two strikes. Two strikes on Mini Mac. Another fouled off home plate. Bella Gray returns to second base with her wheels. Any base hit, I think, brings her in. Any yeah, anything any base proper base hit out of yeah. the infield. Anything gets by here, and she's going home. Low for a ball. We have two out. I think uh, you know, with one ball and two strikes. Uh, Probably not running on everything right now, but I imagine Bella Graham will take a sizable lead. Oh, all the ball. I think she got away with one there. Yeah, I agree. Like I said, the outside corners uh, not getting that call with this out, right. which is pretty consistent both yeah. ways. Oh, wow, the hot shot. Nearly into the pride dugout. Cold. Just on the first baseline and into our dugout. We're almost into the dugout. Count remains one and or two and two. Two. Two's all around. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Three's up to bat. In the dirt. Oh, Bella's going. Ooh. Avoids the tag at third by London, the third baseman for the fusion. A um, little bit of a hook slide there that they've been practicing. Yeah. Coming in with them. It's like Bella's been watching the Matrix there. Looking for another public throwing error. I think just trying to pressure the fusion into making you mistakes. You know what? Why not, right? Oh, what a oh, hit. That's going to drop. It, and that's going to drop. It in. is. And it drops in just behind number 23. She's going and to three. She's going to three again. Looking for her second triple of the game. Yeah, that's it. So, so Mark, and that brings the score to 6 nothing as Bella Graham crosses the plate. Tough one there for Fusion, right? We had uh, maybe a ball that should have been a strike. I mean, that happens. We've had the same thing go our way. And yeah. then the play at third. I Absolutely. think some... Someone fusion thought she might have got tagged there, but I think that just got under Angie Lopez Lee's glove in yeah. the right field, and I'm not sure I would call it an error so much as no. a, an attempt at a. Yeah, I would agree. Know. Yeah, that was a hard hit ball, dropped pretty suddenly out there. Coach checking in with Lopez Lee just to see if she's okay. She, she got a thumbs, thumbs up. Was that the middle finger? No, that's a thumb. Yeah. <laughs> that was not thumbs. Ange. Not yeah. Ange. No, definitely not. Holly Ross takes Whoa. a very low strike. Wow. Like I said, this hump, if it's low and it's dropping 
or that's going to get you a strike. Yeah. One strike on Holly Ross. High for a ball. High and outside. Sarah McDonald matching her numbers. Two threes. She got two triples on the day. Nice. Be nice if Holly could bring her home. Mm -hmm. Oh, swing foul. and a miss. Foul tip. Not a miss. Foul tip. Yeah. Two balls, one strike. Uh, two, one ball, two strikes. Sorry. One and two. High and outside for a ball. Deuces are wild. Deuces are wild. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Six nothing lead. Outside for ball three. Full count on Holly Ross. Looking to get her bat going this season, I think. Yes. And once she does, look out. Yeah. High for a ball. Holly Ross takes the walk, and that brings up Waterman. Get a bat there for Holly. Holly will be taking second on the first pitch. Advancing herself. And Julia Waterman. Julia looking to get a good rip on something. Anything hard out of the infield here. We're definitely scoring one. Swing and a miss. Oh, that's oh, gonna hit drop. in that's the center gonna field. That's yeah. going to drop. Got two coming that in. That in one, and a second run will score. That makes the score seven nothing on a well hit ball up the middle into center field by Julia Waterman. Nice Very piece of hitting. Hit. I think it was a little off the end of the bat, and yeah. if she had gotten a hold of that oh. on the sweet spot, we might have saw the fence there. We might have saw the fence. Ryan Fowles having herself a weekend, Absolutely. looking to cash in here with her teammate and classmate Julia Waterman on first base. Shout out to those watching at home or in Mexico. I know Jim and Trish Ross are in Mexico watching. They were watching last night. We were looking at the YouTube analytics the other night and we were like, oh my gosh, we're reaching people in Mexico. And then we have a broad audience in Mexico. Crush my oh, sorry. Yeah. heart there. Oh, it's just family. Pride 09 is big with the Mexicans. So hello, Jim and Trish. Got some uh, rowdies up in the upper deck there. Yeah, we decided not to stand up there. One, the audio issues, and two. Swing and a miss for fouls. Two strikes on fouls. Let's see. Dig deep here in battle. Swing and a miss for strike three. That retires the side, but not before a little bit more damage is done. Two runs come in to make the score 7 nothing. Yeah. as we head to the bottom of the third. Really? Is it really only the bottom of the third? Yeah, I know. It feels like they've been playing a little longer. That second inning went a while, right? Yeah. So, yeah, we're about uh, 55 minutes into this game. And only bottom of the third. I know yesterday we got six innings in our last game, I believe, so... That's what happens when there's not a lot of runs and quick innings. That second inning definitely stretched this out a little bit. Infield changes. Uh, out is Sarah McDonald at second base. In is Amara Hunter at second. 7-0. Holly Ross at short. Julia Waterman remains at third. Aiden McDonald at first base still. Ryan Fowles goes back into left. Center field, I believe that's Janelle, Janelle, Janelle Cooper. And in right field, we have number 20. Uh, sorry, we have eight. Eight. Jada Mannion. Hmm. BG Bellagram behind the plate still. No Nia change Collins. of pitcher, yeah. Naya continues to throw, so I. 
Could be wrong by looks of it. She might just Great close throw this game by out. Bella Graham. Sorry, Adam. No, I, I would think the way this is going that Naya might just continue on this game, right? It I don't. Yeah, I don't think yeah. you around with, with the way it's played out too. This. It's probably not going to be a long game, innings wise. I don't think it's like a, a question of getting in reps or anything no. like that. No. Oh, we've got two bald eagles behind us here. Or a bald eagle and another. A crow? Looks like we got uh, a little bit of National Geographic going on behind us. A little, little bit of bird birds fight. of prey action yeah. happening in the background. I, Calamina, said Hopefully, no children deliver. are watching. Oh, my in goodness. In their first strike. Beautiful velocity. Oh. We kind of want to see how the, this bird situation is going to play out. Uh, swing. And a miss. Uh, number two for Fusion. <clears throat> when you're throwing a by like that, do you just throw another one? I would think so. I think we need to do, uh, Adam and oh, yeah. Garrett, uh, is set up a, a tablet so that we can have no volume on the YouTube. And just to make sure it's going. Well, and, and also just to sort of read the comments and be able to respond to those. Yeah, it's too bad we can't see the chat. If there's anything in there. <laughs> if there's anything yeah. in there, yeah. I expect there to be something in there. Fouled off. Almost to the right of Bella Graham up into the netting. Right over top of our heads. Luckily that fencing is just high enough. Fusion looking to get things going and get on the board. Strike. Low pitch. Definitely likes the low ones. Uh, yeah, Fusion had a good, good day yesterday. A couple 15-run games. Garrett said he's going to have an iPad, so... That's perfect. Uh, Anata Edwards up one half of the Edwards twins, Alicia and Anata. You know the difference because Alicia has curly hair, Anata's less curly, mm -hmm. and one's a lefty and one's a righty. Oh, okay. At the plate. Interesting. Make sure you all store that information away. Yeah. Yeah, low. A little low, but it's called a strike. That's the same, same pitch. That Holly uh, saw if, her first at bat, or left at bat. That's your strike zone, that's your strike zone. Exactly. You know? so all you want is consistency. And that's one thing for pitchers, right? Once you know, then okay, I'm going to get that call. I'm not going to get the other one. If uh, if you've got an umpire calling the outside of the plate, then you need to protect it as a hitter, and you need to recognize that you can't sit on those. That's right. One thing about our pitchers is they can locate their pitches pretty well. All three of them. They have different pitches they can use, so... When you have a, for a ball. when you have a game that you might not be getting one, you can go to the other. Three right. balls, one strike. Yeah. Fusion looking to get a base runner. Ooh, interesting. That's a that's a lot. Four. Yeah. And Edwards takes first base. The infield uh, coordinating who's covering second. London Rosenwig up to bat. Big hitter. Is she? Very heavy bat. Let's see if our outfield gets any work here. Out in the middle for a strike. She seemed to be taking that the whole time. One out. Runner on first. Fusion looking to get back in the game with some runs. High for a ball. One ball, one strike on London. She's throw, put a few out of the park in her uh, career. Nice throw, nice throw. Down the middle again for a strike. We're not right behind the plate today, so we can't really detect the movement so much, but my guess is that kind of 
started outside and came, came inside back, yeah. handcuffing London. Yeah. Freezing, freezing. It's more like freezing the batter. Ooh. That didn't look much different. Hearts tell from our angle. angle. Yeah. Two balls, two strikes. Just also judging where Bell's glove was to finish off there. She yeah. didn't move her glove very much, so. Yeah. Two and two. Well, Swing it right it strike three. London goes down. Good job, swinging. Naya. Two away. Oh, a number off the end of the bat on a late swing. Strike one. It's got to be the word of the day. Number? Yeah. This game brought to you by Number. I think Ray's got to work it in at least 12 times, so three more to go. Oh, high for a ball. Seems to be pretty consistent there after if she gets up 0-1, we get some high heat on the next one. Yep. Try to get them chasing. Two away. Slow. Oh, bad uh, bounce, bad bounce. Takes a squirrely bounce. A little late coming in on the on the pop fly was Holly Ross at shortstop. All right, we got but this. it had some backspin on it, and I think it, it just didn't go as far as what she was expecting. No, and you it saw it on the bounce there, how much spin that had. Runners on first and second. It's gone. Two away. Runner in scoring position for the Fusion. In there for a strike. So far this weekend, when teams have threatened, the most part, our girls put a stop to it. So here with two outs, hopefully they can do the same. In there for strike two. Quickly ahead on the count is Naya Kalaminas on the fusion batter. If I say fusion batter, it's because I don't know who it is. Yeah, that's fair. It is a batter for the fusion. Oh, punched out, out on out. strikes for the third out of the inning. No damage done. Julia Waterman escorts the ball into the divot by the pitching rubber. And the pride get out of that jam. I wouldn't call it a jam necessarily. It was more no. just an opportunity for confusion. But that's good, right? Not everything's going to go your way. You're going to get some yeah. runners on base. And they, they seem to be able to put a stop to it all weekend they've done that. So we've got... Uh, we're going to be moving to Janelle. It's going to be up to bat first. Amara is going to be on deck. I believe McKenna would be following that up. So those are your next three batters here for the top of the fourth. Coach Kelly. Coach Kelly giving uh, Amara Hunter a little word or two yeah. of encouragement. He's got his, as all the coaches do, or most of the coaches have their bright white hoodies on contrasting the player jerseys. I think that was a choice. I think so. Except for Gary. He's Gary got a, he's got his red over he's top. His, he's got the white hoodie on, though. Mm -hmm. Dress to impress. I think that's Gary's motto. Absolutely. Waterman Giving words of his encouragement to Coop, Janelle Cooper, number three today. Koopa Chupa. I think that's going to stick. Uh, for those of you uh, wondering if there's some sort of forestry going on here in White Rock, uh, thinking that there's a lot of tree stumps around, those are those are Gary Waterman's calves <laughs> coming into your picture. Sorry. Got to get these oh. massive calves. He likes to get them sunned that's, up a little early in the not, season. That's not clear cut you're looking at. No. He's trying to get Cooper. those tan, tan lines in early. Trying to get it, it's just from underneath the kneecap down. Yeah. To those, the sock line. 
Janelle Cooper up to bat. Fouled off ball. into the net behind home plate for strike one. Janelle Cooper wearing number three today, as Ray mentioned, was 24 most of the weekend, just with uh, the other jerseys. So I think that'll be her usual number. Oh, another foul. And uh, the opposite of uh, Gary Waterman regarding uh, calf size would be uh, Josh Cooper. <laughs> Doesn't wear shorts, but if he did, it would look like two bits of cotton hanging out the bottom. Oh, that's well, a hit. Hit. nice hit, hit by Cooper. That's in the gap. She's going to two. And she's going to two. A double for Cooper. Stand up. And she breaks out of her hitting slump to start the season with a nice double. That's one way to do it. You're going to break out of your slump. you got to hit one like that. Looked like Josh Cooper was going to um, jump up and down there, but I think he was afraid of breaking the leg. Weak bones. Mara Hunter looking to cash in the run. In the dirt. Takes ball one. The bats have arrived early in the season, it looks like. I mean, Mm -hmm. Do you think we'll see an aggressive base running here? Yeah. Maybe. Ball, well, well, pass ball. That'll do it. Janelle Cooper advances to third on the pass ball. Just to the right of uh, the catcher, London Rosenberg. It was an outside pitch. She couldn't bring down. Runner on third. Not out. Oh, swing and a miss. Big swing on a changeup. Yeah, if that connected. Mar Hunter steps back in the box after some instructions from Coach Waterman. That wasn't a half swing. Another, yeah, another, another go, Mar. Safe, safe. safe. Oh. oh. Close call at first. Yeah, I don't know. Brings the RBI in though. Another number off the end of the bat. Number is the word of the day. Take, take, take the RBI. I mean, again, tough when you just have the one up behind the plate. I do think she was safe on that one, but. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, but that happens. You, you need a base on to really make those calls yeah, properly. Yeah, that's right. And calls, you know, it's a tough job to tough be doing job, multiple tough, jobs back there. Tough job to do both. In the dirt for ball one on McKenna Cocker. But a nice single. Hard Double. single. Yeah. Was it a hard single? It was a hard base single. is loaded. Yeah. 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 Right between short and third. High for a ball. Good patience to start this at bat. Two balls, no strikes for McKenna Cocker. Didn't really get to display her wheels with the people in front of her on the bases. Oh, You know what? On a 2 0 count, ball that low, I guess you're thinking that's been a strike most of the day, so. I don't know sure how that's a strike, but. Off the end of the bat catcher's glove. Two balls, two strikes. Let's go to work, Kenna. In the dirt. We got a full count. Full count on McKenna Cocker, looking to continue her hot bat streak. McKenna Cocker, ooh, high for a ball. And that's, that's a walk. That's a walk. McKenna also a protege of Complete Diamond. Yeah, yeah, she's been putting With in Kim the work. Brooks. If hitting or pitching is your thing, Complete Diamond, Kim Brooks. Can, complete your needs. Some call her Brooksy. Brooksy. Also like to point out that our low and outside for a ball that our uh, sponsors are scrolling the bottom right of uh, your screen. And is this tournament brought to us by somebody? Orion Construction. Orion Construction. Big thank you to our sponsor, sponsor for the weekend. Sponsor for the weekend, sponsor for the tournament. One of our season sponsors along with many others and their logos are scrolling the bottom right of your screen. 
please pay attention to that. Yeah, the girls I'd like to thank all of them. Girls could not do what they they get to do and have the season they're go going to have last season this season without our sponsors. So thank you. Good swing, Jada. Raised enough funds this year that besides all the tournaments, the girls will be uh, climbing Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. We're hoping they make it back. Oh, another foul. Followed by a, a lovely train ride on the old Orient Express. Oh, really? Um, for the Are end we? Of the end of the season uh, celebration. Parents get to go too? Uh, no. Oh. Swing and a miss. Jada Manning goes down swinging. No balls out. Balls out. The balls out. It. Okay. The ball is like in center field. No, that's three down. Hey, Waterman had a few uh, things to say about that. Yeah. Kept it clean, but... Yep. Um, the ball is definitely not held on to. Yeah. So, uh, nothing you can do about it. Really. <clears throat> I don't know how to score that here. So, the tricky part. we're just going to say that was an out. Sure. Oh boy. This is a caught stealing or. Mm -hmm. I mean, definitely an aggressive I mean, it, move. This doesn't affect our, our spots, no. just so. It doesn't you matter. Know, for the scoring purpose, no. just say caught stealing, and that's, yeah, what it, that's, that's what the call is, really. That's what worked. Yeah, and definitely just trying to catch them sleeping there on the, the third strike, right? Yeah. yeah see what absolutely. happens. I don't, I don't mind that. Um, not only was Paul dropped, but I think she was also in there. Yeah, oh, yes. Back. Yeah. It'll be yeah, fun to watch. Both back. things. Waterman at third base, Julia Waterman, Hunter at shortstop now for Holly Ross comes out. Uh, Sarah Mack goes back in at second. Uh, center field, McKenna Cocker. Uh, left field, Ryan Fowles. And in right field, uh, Kira McIntyre. So we're approaching 11.30, about an hour 13 into this game. I would expect this is the last inning, bottom of four. We'll see how quick the inning goes. It's possible we get to the fifth inning. I can't remember or if I actually saw the rule for when they won't start a new inning. So, Coach on the third base side of Fusion giving his hitter Carly Buconic signals. See if she squares up to bunt to get something going. She does. Oh! Nice catch, Grant. Grant. With a foul tip catch. What a catch. Diving forward to secure that. One away. You may have heard our fans on that play. No, I think I might have busted some home speakers there. Yeah. Sorry, folks. Sometimes uh, when you get a play like that, it's hard not to get excited. And, you know, Garrett has probably already blown all your speakers anyway for those yeah. watched last year, so... Garrett's just regular talking voice blows the speakers. Yeah. So they should be well adjusted for, for our shouts. Ooh. Outside for a ball. We're assuming it was outside. If she misses, that's I typically where it misses in, inside or outside. But at least she has thrown a few high ones oh, yeah. today. That's a ball. Look good, but called a ball for second ball. Two balls, no strikes. So I think Bellagram gets to eat tonight. She gets to eat. Yeah, I think so. Amy will be, I don't know about cooking. Is. No. I think she cooks. But That's okay. Amy Larson. Ball three. Bella tried to frame that one. I think that one just hung a bit outside. Maybe didn't have the movement on it that uh, usually does. I think so. Let's see if Naya can battle back here. in a row coming up here. Or one at the plate and one on deck. Oh, she oh, went. She went. Strong. Yeah. Strike one on a high pitch. Couldn't hold the bat back no. across the plane of the plate. The ump, uh, the ump waited on that one. Yeah. It's okay sometimes just to process what happened. Up is a young lady who looks 
to be probably about. I don't Not know. much older than these girls. Older it, than if these girls. so, yeah. Fouled off into the netting. So to the left of third base for the dugout. Naya's battled back to make it a full count. Which yeah. seems to be a theme that sort of happens when she gets down. We were just saying, on, Amy, uh, Bella gets to eat tonight. Is that right? Yeah. What you having? Yeah. Two thumbs, thumbs up from Amy Larson. I think it was more of a catch, like a. Oh. I think that's a pitch that we've been getting the call on earlier uh, today, but yeah. Uh, so, I think that's the piece that sometimes it's getting the consistency, but yeah. Um, again, we're not behind the plate, so no. And that's easy part, to judge. That's part of any game, any sport, right? Yeah. The refing, umping, whatever sport it is, yeah. some of the toughest thing to do. So easy to be a, a couch ump. Yeah, for sure. Alicia Edwards back at the plate, another lefty. Down the middle for a strike. Again, the I question bet. is, do you start being aggressive as the fusion and seeing if you can yeah, uh, test the arm of Bella Graham behind I, the plate? I'd say why Let's not, Let's see if right? she takes off. Yeah. One away. Doesn't appear that they're going to. That was a ball. That was a ball. ball, yeah. One ball, one strike. Yeah, we haven't really seen many throws down to second this weekend. No. Yeah. Ooh, that was high. High heat. High heat. Again. Three balls, one strike. One away, runner on first. Bottom of four. And an eight-run lead for the Pride. Swing and a miss. The strike two. Back to a full count again. Back to a full count. Hmm. In the dirt for a ball. So this is good. Runners good. on first and second. Bill bigs up brings up the big bat of uh, Bella Tyson. Just the one out. One out. You know what? This is good reps right here, right? Runners on base. Keep your composure. Make the smart play. And you can see Julia Waterman uh, directing traffic right now. Just making sure everybody knows what we're doing and what. We're listening to the uh, walk-up song of Bella Tyson, Alien Ant Farm's rendition of Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal. Is Alien Ant Farm uh, a richer demographic? Or? Probably not. Yeah. Maybe, actually, maybe. I wonder if any of the girls would know. Maya Kalaminas. Well, obviously. One of them has it as a walk-up song, so... In there for a strike. Runners at first and second. How much do you think the parents influence the walk-up songs, right? Uh, hugely. Yeah. Uh, more so in years past, I think. Right. Right. Parents wanting to flex their favorite songs. So strike two on a foul, foul tip. tip. Yeah. Quickly down, down on the count is Bella Tyson against Ike Palominas. Oh and two. So I'd be careful with the change up here. I think. If you're going to miss yeah. the changeup, don't be high. Fouled out and out of, the, out of the park to our right, over the fencing. And rolls over to the other diamond. Count remains 0 and 2. Oh, that's oh, a solid, solid hit. single. Oh, from Ryan Fowles throwing home. Nice try. Nice, nice by try. Ryan Fowles from left field. Nice hit by Bella Tyson to break the uh, hitless streak Naya had going. Yeah. So we can say it now. 
Um, good job by Ryan Powell's there. Yeah, excellent cutting that job. off, getting in very quickly, holding the other runners to first and second. So just the one run scoring. High for a ball. I think uh, familiar face off the bat again. I think Angie got, Lopez Lee. Oh, there's your father Jordan with the camera in front of us. Getting some shots. The loins of Jordan Lee. <laughs> Well hit. Nice try, nice try. Caught by Amar Hunter. With a line drive out. Jordan walked straight in front of me as that happened, so I didn't see it. We'll Thanks, watch Jordan. the replay later. Was, Was that, that right at her? Or? Oh, yeah. A little low. A little low. And About okay. shin height. Okay. Like dropped Looked shin height. double off the uh, yeah, runner? Yeah, she was. Nobody was at uh, two, though. Right. Yeah, so yeah. she wouldn't have been able to. Nor the would they be. The really runner was too far away. Yeah. High fly by all at first base. Aiden McDonald underneath it. Oh, oh he caught it back, with back it. a little bit. That's, That's the ball game. Folks. We just got told four innings in the books. That's it for the icebreaker. Yeah, eight to one victory. Solid, solid game. Thanks for everybody for joining. We'll we'll just sit here for a minute or two and watch the handshakes and then sign off. Yeah, we'll leave that leave that up for a bit since the weekend is over. If I exit scoring, will it quit the feed? No, right? Uh, I'll wait. I'll I don't wait. know. Actually, I'm not sure about that. So if that's that next game. So for those wondering, we've got a couple games this week. Uh, weather dependent, of course. Weather looks okay. Tuesday night and Thursday night. Check our Instagram for locations and times. And then next weekend, we'll be in Delta. Uh, last year, the weather was not a lot of fun. And it looks like it might be a similar weekend. But either way, we will be there. You can expect we'll have the streams up for all our games this year. Absolutely. Not a bad way to start your Easter Sunday. Not a bad way to yeah. start. Yeah. Good job, ladies. Undefeated in the tournament and on the season so far. And only two runs given up in four games. It's very good. Yeah. Congratulations.